being sad here confused because remember Zepto Lab? Zepto Lab is the people are the people who made the cut the rope games. And it seems like weird stuff has been happening with them. I just checked their app store page and they've made a bunch of weird shoddy games. So I'm just gonna talk about it. Apparently, last year they stopped making Omnom games and they started a new division of the business called Omnom called Zepto Lab Green, which I guess good name. Um which was Omnom Merge, which is very generic merge game where you merge things and you, you make new things and then you merge them and, and then the new things and then you merge them again. And you keep making new things and they merge and and it merge merge mer- 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 and after like 40 or so mergings you finally get to the end you unlock all the characters whatever. Not super interesting but like okay. Anyways, recently I checked their pages and their latest release is called Om and Om Racing. This is just like Okay, okay, let's just give this thing the best chance it's got. Um Om Nom Racing app. Weird stuff has been happening. Weird stuff. But Maybe I should have recorded this on um, Okay, look. Basically, Omnom Racing is a Fall Guys ripoff, I'm pretty sure. Or even if it's not, it's bootleg as hell. Um, you know what? I'll just look on the Google Play Store. Um Omnom Racing. Just can't find this thing. Promise it it exists here. I promise. Okay, so Zepto oh, there we go. Okay, Zepto Lab has been to have gone gone kind of crazy. So they used to make good games. These these are all the good games. And they still do make good games. I don't know why they're doing a battle royale now, but These are all the games made by the new publisher Zepto Lab Green. Now, Omnom Racing, let's look at it. It came out literally four days ago. I went and checked and does this look super high quality? And why was it made? Is the question. Why? What's the point of this thing? Maybe and upon closer inspection the model is pretty okay but like what is this red guy doing what is going on with zepto lab so i investigated so i went to zepto lab's website and oh and this is not even the craziest part so i went to zepto lab's website they're proud of their new game robotics bloodex also they made an omnom run game it's an endless runner but it's on not do we see a pattern here all of these are just other genres of game with with an omnom skin attached to it omnom run run for glory in omnom run a new game from the yeah no it's not actually it's different people join omnom and omnel on the race through the dangerous streets of nomville like why though why does this game exist other than to make money like of course it only exists to make money but like they've been going absolutely crazy um and if you go on metacritic you can actually see when these all these w- weird games came out this isn't the one that really made me gasp though no that's not even it i'm not run by the way came out this year want to guess when it came out february of this year. I I don't think you've heard of it. 
Apparently, it's been around that long. I didn't know. Um, which is probably why it looks slightly less unpolished than the rest of these. Next one that I think is a little strange is Cybernom. Yeah, they, they made an Omnom shooter. Because of course they did. Of course. So they're just slapping an Omnom skin. Now this picture looks all right, but I actually opened the game. Here's what I found. And like a lot of these games, there's like no audio. So it makes it feel really unpolished. And the, there's like no tutorial. It says made with Unity at the beginning, meaning they didn't pay for that. Um, it's like, why? And if you look at the reviews for it, look at the reviews for um, Cybernom, you can see this guy, one guy is, what is going on? It's like the developers made a bet to make games fast. And this guy says, you serious? I honestly thought this was an out of season April Fool's joke. This is literally just like one of those cheap mobile games because it is. Made by Zeptolab Green, makers of such fine games as Omnom Run, Cybernom, Omnom Mer. Oh, and, uh, there's more. There's, there's, there, of course, there's more. And this one is the most ridiculous one. Um, you, you, of course. Omnom Idol Candy Factory. That is actually an app that now exists thanks. To Zepto Lab Green. Omnom freaking idle candy factory. Manage your own candy factory. It's like this is the most boring idle game ever. It's not really interesting. It's not like it doesn't have the cool ascension mechanics, it's just blah blah upgrade blah blah. I mean I haven't played very much, but from there's no background music. I it's open right now. Um no background music. It's like a candy animation that plays. Omnom is making noise. And there's like a glass tube. With, there isn't any UI other than this one. And there's this big pixelated upgrade button. Like, why is this game? It's like a concept demo. They're right. And it came out really, really... It came out in September. Um, so like... Yeah, that's what Zeptolab Green has been getting up to, but what is happening with Zeptolab? Like, are they ever going to make another good Omnom game? Or is it all just going to be generic skins on games that already... Also, these Omnom tunes have gotten very much out of hand because they've had to make 14 seasons. Anyways, um, that's a different thing, and I'm not talking about the other games that they actually made because I'm sure they're up to their normal quality, which is mobile game publisher quality. Not great, but probably scummy with microtransactions, but they're not really putting their full branding on Omnom Candy, Omnom Idol Candy Factory. Anyways, that's just what I had to say about it. I, I saw it, and I was kind of like, what? So, yeah. Bye.